DO stands for Denial of Service. It is a cyber attack aimed at making a server, service, or network unavailable to its users. It overwhelms the target with excessive traffic, requests, or malicious data, disrupting normal operations and preventing legitimate users from accessing it. Imagine this is a web server hosting a website. When a user requests a web page from the server, the server processes the request and sends back the requested web page to the user's browser. Everything is working well, the server is functioning normally, and users can access the website without any issues. Here an attacker, for some reason, wants to disrupt the website's availability. To do this, they decide to launch a DOS attack against the server. Here's how the attack executes. The attacker begins their DOS attack by sending a flood of requests to the server. These requests could be HTTP requests for accessing different pages of the website or even malformed requests designed to exploit vulnerabilities in the server software. As the server gets flooded with a huge number of requests from the attacker, its resources like CPU, memory, and bandwidth are overloaded. The server's processing capacity is quickly used up as it struggles to manage the large number of incoming requests. With its resources overloaded, the server has trouble handling real user requests. This causes users to face slow loading times, timeouts, or errors when they try to access the website. The website becomes slow or unresponsive because of the heavy load from the DOS attack. Legitimate users are effectively denied access to the website's services due to the DOS attack. As you can see, a DOS attack comes from a single source, making it easier to detect and stop. Typically, a network or server can handle an attack from a single source more easily. However, if more devices join the attack from different locations, it becomes much harder for the server to manage. This is known as a distributed denial of service DDoS attack. In a distributed denial of service DDoS attack, multiple compromised computers coordinate their efforts to overwhelm a target server service, or network. It's like a team of computers working together to attack the target. The attacker forms this team of computers, called a botnet, by infecting them with malware. Once infected, these computers, also known as bots or zombies, can be controlled remotely by the attacker. The owners of these computers are usually unaware of the infection. The attackers activate their botnets and instruct them to launch a coordinated attack on the web server. Each compromised computer in the botnet starts sending a flood of requests to the server simultaneously. These requests may include HTTP requests or other types of network traffic, such as UDP or ICMP packets. As the flood of requests from the botnet reaches the server, its resources become overwhelmed, just like in a regular DOS attack. However, in this case, the volume of incoming traffic is much larger and more distributed making it even harder for the server to handle. The server struggles to handle the huge number of requests coming from many sources in the botnet. Real users experience slow loading times, timeouts, or can't access the website at all. The website becomes almost impossible to reach because of the overwhelming traffic from the DDoS attack. Eventually, the server can't cope with the constant flood of requests from the botnet. It becomes completely unavailable to real users, showing error messages or not responding at all. In a DDoS attack, the amount of data the target has to handle can vary widely depending on the scale and type of attack. However, it is not uncommon for DDoS attacks to generate traffic volumes ranging from hundreds of gigabits per second to over a terabit per second. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, Please support us by liking and subscribing to our channel for more. We value your feedback, so please leave a comment below letting us know what you think. See you in the next one.